Oh, just on a side note, did I tell you that I got an heirloom to one or one twenty? To one twenty. Yeah. I hacked the system, bro. Hello. Y yeah. No, I said I hacked the system. Hello. You can't hear me, can you? Really? My internet really acting up right now. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yeah, you good now? <clears throat> God damn it, Domino. You good, bro? Uh, bro? Bro? Justin? Can you hear me now? I could hear you the whole time. Oh, I couldn't tell. Oh yeah, I know. Alright, uh, so we'll go ahead and start this. Welcome everybody today to another <laughs> lovely podcast of Gaming Beyond. I am Nezrak Sins. With me today I have my friend, Virgil's Revenge. How you doing, Virgil? What's up, everybody? What's up, Nez? Alright, so today we're going to do something a little obscure and talk about our personal lives and what we do for a living and what comes along with that. Today we are talking about Karens. Justin, we oh both know God. we both know that we work in a retail environment of a famous, uh, famous retailer. I don't, I don't know how to say it right now. Excuse me. A very famous retail group. It has just about everything in it. Yeah. Or so these Karens think. <laughs> All right. Do you have any um, personal experience with the Karen? Oh, God. Okay. So we all know that Karens are females. They have the haircut. They have the chew gum or gum chewing and then the also let me speak to your manager really is the well, best part of it all so i do have an experience and it's actually my number one because it was the one event that nearly got me fired from really yes have i heard and this it wasn't no i don't think you have because this one wasn't a Karen, but it was the opposite gender, a Kevin. Uh, we call it actually, My... uh, apparently according to TikTok, we call those Richards. Oh, well, they, they have many names. It's Richard, Kevin, or Chad. Chad yeah. being the big, dumb, stupid ones. Yeah, I was about to say Chad. Uh, I've heard Chad before. Yeah. Kevin is the, uh, let me speak to your manager. Yeah. All right. Proceed. Okay, so the number one was I was in the electronic section of my retailer. And <laughs> a little tricky now, they, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. But um, doing electronics, we have printer ink. The uh -huh. guy came all the way from, what's, let's just say another city that was pretty far away, you know, to come get this printer ink. It's also 145 in the morning. We just had the tills changed and everything, and literally, this guy came after talking to someone at, I believe he said it was 5.30 p.m. They had a specific ink for this guy, and he waited till 1.45 to come get it. I and hate those people so you, much. Yeah, well, you know my attitude. Well, right, you know and I... just the idea that this bastard came in, like, right before our lunch, and was just like, hey, I need this now. Yeah, but here's the thing. We didn't have any more. Oh, why? <laughs> because we sold it. <laughs> it must have sold during the day, because we can't hold items for people. You know, right. It's just a policy thing. Well, I then checked the box to make sure we didn't have any the that box. needed to go out. Nope. <laughs> so, this guy persists to start cussing at me. 
He yells at me. He screams at me. And I told him, as nicely as possible, there's nothing I can do. Well, I finally got to the point where I told him, I can't pull this out of my ass. I am sorry. You know, I'm sorry. My ass might be big, but I don't shit ink out. Well, that didn't for turn out very well. For, oh, hold on. For y'all that don't know, we are two overweight white guys. And, I mean, if you're on my YouTube, you see me. But you, um, I still haven't figured out how to make his shit work properly without Skype. But, um, as you know, we're, we're two white men. So we're probably the lowest of the low. We're not, we're not colored. We're not privileged. We're nothing. We're just... Literally white trash in the middle of um, a redneck town. Like, and that's what makes this story worse is the <laughs> fact that w the definition of redneck around here is just like common. Like, this is just what happens, you know. So, it, you know, what makes it worse though was this was an older gentleman doing a kids book, and. You know, his race had nothing to do with it, but it was an African American older gentleman. Oh man, okay, so, so that that's gonna okay. I I got one for my number three. It's not a Karen story, but it's pretty damn close. Because like I was yeah. having I was having trouble getting my uh, second one out, but that one cleared my third. So I think I, I I'm good on that now. <laughs> yeah, but in the end, it was a point where we had to call my manager. And a certain someone that you know, that you've seen before, she was working as a co-CSM at the time. She had just left me after uh, taking tills to the front and had to come back because they could hear me all the way in the front. Yeah. Because I was getting that mad. So she had to come over, take over for me while a manager was on the way and had to shove me away and say, go take a walk. Go take a walk. How? <laughs> Honestly, go to... coming in from, uh, like, because I didn't just, like, come into this retailer. I was actually, like, out of state, and then I came in. When I did this, like, I didn't know your, pers like, yeah, we're great friends and all, but I didn't know your persona, like, how you act in public to other people. So, like, hearing this, like, I I'm not saying I was there, but... Like, hearing things like this and stories about this, just, like, kind of reminisce of the times where we were talking to the manager and she'd just tell me how he used to go off on people and shit. And it's just, like, it's so hard to believe. Like, he was the quiet one back in the day. What the fuck happened? Like, <laughs> like it really changed my view. Yeah, it, it's really surprising, the stories that I have, you know, at my retailer and... You would be surprised how loud I get and how open I've actually become because the fact that I was the quiet one. But, anyway. but, I mean, I hate to say, you know, the quiet one's going to shoot up the classroom kind of thing, but, it, you know, um, sorry, what I'm doing right now in the background for people who are watching the video is um, I'm on WoW Retail right now and... <laughs> the, um, I went to my character on Heroes Channel, and I put a whole bunch of shit, I mean a whole bunch of shit, into the auction house, and I am now uh, just trying to resell it, like I, I get a price, you know how you click on something to sell it, it's like, oh it's 499 yeah. gold, and then it defaults it to that, I'm fucking, oh, yeah. I'm underlining it, so like it's 499, I'm putting 460 and then creating the auction. Nice. Or something that's a hundred gold is now fifty. So you could try to get some profit off of it. Uh, I actually like because I received all my stuff back from the last forty eight hours. Uh, I made a twenty one hundred profit. Oh, nice. That's what I'm like. So, but I do hate like because I I do this constantly. I undermine it unless I get lazy and just hit okay. But the issue is like, it's just. A, not fast enough. <laughs> and B, like, you get people who get the item who puts, like, 742, and I'm just gonna put, you know, four, 480 so somebody can actually fucking pick it up. 
and then somebody else will come in under me and put it lower because I had an item that was worth like ten thousand gold, and now it's worth like four. You know? Yeah. Because other people are undermining as well. So. I don't well, know. my damn. Yeah, the auction house okay. for you, right? Sorry. All right, so uh, well, you, do you want, well, yeah, you're not done with your story. Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Basically, to finish the story, the manager comes up, gives them a five dollar gift card, and tells them he has to leave because we a don't have a five dollar gift he, card. Yes, a five dollar, not a ten dollar, not a twenty dollar, but a five dollar gift card, and told him he has to leave because he can't be in here cursing at staff and you know throwing a tantrum. Because he decided to come in late rather than earlier to get the stuff he needed. I would and like he to... got banned from our store because of that. Jesus Christ. The, the, the amount of people that we banned out of our store is just fucking ridiculous, too. Indeed. But uh, that would be my number one. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever partook into like somebody being banned, but uh, coming across people who are just like... Yeah, no, you're not gonna come here anymore. Please don't. If you do, we're, we're gonna use the cop that we do have to escort you out every single time. <laughs> um, yeah. so my number one, the thing that would have put, I think, actually, eventually did succumb to my termination. Um. Oh, okay, I remember now. So in Washington, I worked for this retailer. I, I can say what it was because I got fired from it. I was working for Walmart, the very first job. And yeah. it's all fine and dandy and stuff. Um, I was a morning shift stalker at the time. And like they called it uh, uh, IMS back then. Yeah. And um, I was working as an IMS, and our job was to go to the sales floor and make sure the counts in the back room are on the machines the same as the back room and the sales floor. So there would be a time of day where I have to go to the sales floor. And I'm not going to sit there and preach to myself and say, oh, I was the best person. I did everything I was told. Nobody ever... Like, I will constantly tell people, like, I would never run into Karens. Like, I don't run into stupid people at all. <laughs> and it, it's either because they know that I'm stupid and it just happens to be like, oh, yeah, he ain't going to know. He works here, but he ain't going to know, which is, you know, benefit for me. But yeah, um, so what happened at the time I was the where our back door was uh, to go to the back room was next to toys. So a lot of times we get people, you know, walking back there like, hell, hey, hey, anybody back here? Anybody going to help me? And of course, I'm there and they see me. They eye contact to me and they're just like. I see you. You're going to help me, right? It's just like... <laughs> and I, I legitimate, like, looked around me, because we have the DSD desk, like, back there, too. I'm like, yeah. uh, me? Like, I just got hired, like, two days ago, bro. Sure. I'm happy to help, right? And, uh... Yeah. So, I go up to the guy, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or girl, guy. No, because it was both of them. I don't remember who came to me first. And the first one, I think it was the guy, because he actually went back there. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm trying to get like, uh, what are they called? The ride-ons for his kid." I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got plenty back here. Like we got some on pallets and da da da." I explained to him, and he's just like, "Oh, right, cool, cool, cool." But I'm looking for the specific one, and I asked him which one it was, and it was the uh, grave robber one at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think we still sell that one right now. Like at, or, I said we, sorry. Mindset. Um, I think, I think they still sell it now, that's my point. Um, cause yeah. I, I, uh, that's how I do my memory, I always put myself in the place of, anyways, I'm not gonna explain myself. <laughs> um, so, I did that. And I'm like, okay, cool, let me go find it. So I went out to the sales floor and scanned it, but he stayed back by the door. I'm like, okay, bro, I'm going to go scan it so I can see it on my machine and see how many I have. He's like, okay, cool. So I walk out there and scan it. And this lady sees me scan it, looks at the handheld, because we have the old, like, gun-looking-like ones. Oh, yeah. And, um... So I look at it, I'm just staring at it, I'm like, hmm, I wonder what I can do, right? And instead we have, like, three on hand. And at that store, they had a really bad, like, 
issue where it, it said you had three, but really you only had one. Yeah. And so what I ended up doing is I go to turn like and like walk back and look at the dude and the lady's like, hey, are you checking the price of that? I, and I turned to her, you know, I put my finger up to the other guy. I'm like, hold on. And I turned to her and I go, yeah, what's up? It's $400. And she goes, oh, okay. Do you have any in the back? Okay, it's just a coincidence. It's another customer wanting it, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I go, it says I do, but I don't know. And she goes, how do you not know what your store has? I go, easy. I don't stock it at night. And like... To me, I wasn't sarcastic, but to her, I was. Yeah. And she goes, oh, <laughs> how do you, what do you mean you don't stock it? I'm like, I don't stock it. It's not my job. She goes, what are you doing now then? I'm like, my job. She goes, what's your job? And I, and I look her dead in her eye and I go, I do not know. Something <laughs> with this. And, <laughs> and she's like, let me talk to your manager. And at this point, I'm really cool with the managers because um, I made a really good impression when I got hired. And I'm like, yeah. oh, sure, whatever. Let me go get my manager, who just so happened to be walking behind her. I'm like, timing is impeccable today. I am, I, I'm good. I'm not going to get in trouble. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> Dave, or whatever the fuck his name was. Uh, he goes, what's up? I'm like, hey, uh, this lady needs, your, uh, needs you for something. He, he goes... Uh, uh, she turns around, and if I haven't seen the most, like, have you ever got the moment where you met somebody in public that you wish you didn't? Yeah. Kind of like, oh, I used to sleep with her, I don't want to look at her face, kind of thing. So you kind of walk by with your hand up. As soon as I said Dave, it caught her attention. And I go, hey Dave... I need your help. The customer needs your help for, for a ride on and like the situation. He goes, Oh, okay. And starts walking towards me. As soon as she whips her head around, he stops dead in his track. And it looks like he got hit by a goddamn freight truck. He goes, Oh <laughs> shit. I, I'm like, we good. And she, uh, she says, no, how you doing, Dave? I'm like, Oh, you know, Dave, <laughs> <laughs> Like a fucking dumbass. I'm like, oh, you know, Dave, you know my manager. Cool, this will be easy, right? And then the guy starts walking yeah. up, and who, like, hears this commotion. And the guy walks up. He goes, what's going on? I'm like, this lady knows my manager, apparently. And he kind of, the guy kind of gets ghost-faced and kind of just stands there. Basically, like, oh, shit, you activated her trap card. Like, you don't know what's about to happen, bro. And I kind of looked at him. I'm like, whatever. You know, in the moment, whatever. I don't care about you. I go, yo, Dave, you good? And he goes, I'm fine. But uh, somebody's calling me on the walkie because, you know, I didn't have a walkie. Or I did have a walkie on me. And the issue is the walkie was in my back pocket. And I didn't have a headset. And so yeah. nobody knew technically I had a walkie on me. And I go, you sure, bro? And kind of leaned over and started to pull the walkie out. He goes, and he starts uh, clicking the mic. And so he clicks it, and, my, and my, of course my walkie goes off. And I quickly turn it off. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I go, oh, okay. Um... <laughs> He goes, yeah, uh, so he clicks it, and then clicks it off, and he goes, yeah, okay, and he acts like he clicks it in, and he's like, uh, well, I'll just use a name here, Jennifer, I'll go and do the thing, alright, I'll be back, um, I'm dealing with a customer right now, and I'll be over there in a minute, and he waits a second, he goes, alright, and he calls her like, uh, we'll call her Sue, she goes, okay, Sue, what do you need? And she goes, uh, this associate doesn't know his job. And I quickly said, you're right, I don't. What did you need again? And she goes, I needed a price check on that. I'm like, ma'am, I told you the price of the item that you asked. And she goes, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I was asking if you had any more. And, I, and you said, I don't know. 
I'm like, I know, and you're right, again, because I don't know if we have it on, because we've been having issues with these coming in. And she's like, well, you didn't iterate that to me. I'm like, ma'am, you wouldn't let me finish <laughs> before Dave showed up. And uh, Dave, <laughs> Dave's face was just like, bro, you're, are you sure? And then he kind of like fakes the, the <laughs> microphone again. He goes, Jennifer, I'm on my way. And he, Dave was like, yo, Cam, you got this, right? I'm like, yeah, I got this. And he just walks off, just like speed walking. And the lady turns back to me, why did you let him go? I, I was going to get you in trouble. I'm like, you can't get me in trouble if my hire date was two days ago, lady. And she goes, oh, so you really don't know anything, do you? I'm like, no. And she sees the guy behind me. And she goes, did they have any in the back room? And the, she, the guy goes, I asked him to look for me. I was just like, <laughs> checkmate, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, ironically, I walked to the back room, and it turns out it was in the top steel, you know, where you had to get the machine for it. And I grabbed yeah. it, and it was fu all fine and dandy. And, um... I gave it to her. I'm like, yeah, that, that's our last one. You know, enjoy. If you got, make sure you get the warranty so you can get free batteries and whatnot. And she's like, okay, tell Dave I'll see him later. And to follow up with Dave, turns out that was a one night stand that he literally just slept with her two days prior. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. See, that's why. That's what irked me. Like once I. Uh, once I found out, I'm like, but that was her husband that was behind me. He goes, I know. He was my high school friend. Oh. I'm like, this is a small town, isn't it? He goes, it's not. I went, um, he's like, I, me and him went to school in California. Because, you know, it was common oh. for people to live in Washington from California. Yeah. And, yeah, the, sorry, this is where it took place. It was in Washington State. And he's just like, yeah, bro, I went to school with him. He knows who I am because we were on the football team together or something like that, or band or something like that. I'm like, bro, you just slept with his girl and got away with it? Pro uh, and by the way, the guy was built. He wasn't skinny. He wasn't fat. He was built. He was like, oh, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was just like, yeah, you would have got your ass killed. And he's like, yeah, not doing that again. <laughs> I'm like, you still got her number, don't you? He goes, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, it's not a Karen story, but it's probably the worst circumstance I've ever been in. Or I was just like, I literally know nothing. And you're going to just like, <clears throat> by the way, what's going on? And it's just like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, see, this is great because that was an entitled parent story that just went straight up uh, Karen story. Because she asked for your manager. <laughs> right. That's kind of what Karen is. It's like, oh, this is like, let me get your manager so I can get you in trouble so I can get something for free. And uh, that's why I questioned about the policy about the whole $25 thing or the $5 thing. Because our thing was if they weren't satisfied, we gave them a $25 gift card. And like the store manager physically handed them to them and everything like that. It was just, it was a whole different level. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that was my experience with that store. And I can easily say that I quickly got out. Like, uh, I managed to get into security afterwards. And it, it, it was fun and easy <laughs> compares. Like, I went through hell in that store, dude. I can imagine. But, yeah, and it's... And, I'm not just saying it happened to say it happened like at our major retailer or something like that. No, dude, this is legitimately the worst story that I have. Well, not the worst story, the most enticing story I have about Walmart. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what's your number two? Okay, so going on to my number two, it is unfortunate that I have to say that on my nephew's birthday party, uh, when we went out to eat... I've told you this story, but I have Karen as a mom and Karen as sister. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I literally. Three yeah, but parents. the level of Karen that your mom and your sister are are literally on two different levels. You can sit there and say, um, yes. your mom is the epiphany of a Karen, and then your sister is like a Karen in training, watching your mom <laughs> do this shit. And I, I think I've been in a situation with them where it's just kind of like, you're going too far, lady, so let's keep, reel it back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So to explain what happened, we go out to eat. It's Texas Roadhouse. Uh-huh. The way they have the seating going for COVID-19 right now, it's every other table... Whenever you sit at a table, oh, the tables the next yeah, to that yeah. table is completely where you you're basically separated from people. Your table away from everyone. Hey, so uh, something I just want to point out real quick. Uh, you you mentioned Texas Roadhouse. A lot of people who are listening that are in like uh, New York or something. Um, my heart goes out to y'all. But uh, <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Washington State only has one Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> and I want to point out to you, Texas Roadhouse is only known in Texas, obviously, Nevada, uh, uh, Alabama, Oklahoma, and um, California. Literally, when I moved, like, a year after, they just opened uh, a Texas Roadhouse on the other side of the mountains. You know, it's brand spanking new. And we wow. needed, yeah, we needed a reason to go out there because we missed Texas so much. And um, we ended up getting a dog, and that's where Angel came from. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it, you gotta really, like, like, you remember Taco Time, right? Yes. That shit ain't down here. <laughs> oh, that was so great. Sorry, anyways, go ahead. Okay, so, anyways. We wanted seats together, but of course, the table's there, big enough to fit six people, not but, eight. Yeah, this place is yeah. like to, to help like understand what this place is. It's a uh, uh shit. It, it's a restaurant, it's so like country. Uh, well, right, right, right. But like, I'm trying to think of the thing that is most common associated with it. Outback Steakhouse. That's like yeah, it's parallel. But more Texas. <laughs> like, indeed, indeed. Like yeah, we had the blooming onion in Texas Roadhouse. You have it in, in um, the other steakhouse. I already forgot the name. Outback. <laughs> Outback. Yeah, you have it in Outback as well. <laughs> you have steaks and everything. They got fresh cut. They grill it to whatever. It's fine. Yeah, they have that. But the one thing that Texas uh, Roadhouse has over Outback is the rolls. God yes. Those are especially. Very, yeah, they're yeast rolls, bro. And then you got the the butter is cinnamon sugar butter that goes on the roll. Yes. And it's Oh my god. <laughs> it's like everybody is like, Oh golden crowd this, golden crowd that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like, yeah. No. Texas Roadhouse, bro, got you beat. Indeed. But yeah. Uh sorry again, I like this is the whole point of this podcast, by the way. Um, if I'm gonna, if you don't mind me interjecting and, uh, start advertising real quick. Go ahead. Uh, so the whole point of this podcast is just a thing for y'all to get to know us, to be on more of a personal level with, you know, this is my friend Virgil, this is Nezzy, you know, like you'll hear our names in time. I mean, obviously you're not going to memorize it, do a little bit of research, you know who we are, but, um, the short answer that I'm going to get at is that. This is a podcast to have fun. We're just bullshitting most of the time. So a lot of our experiences, that's why I come up with these ideas, is just to help spread on them. Like, what's the worst Karen story you have? Like, let me tell you about the Texas Roadhouse that we have in Washington State. You know, they're not parallel. <laughs> like, there wasn't a Karen there. It's just what happens, you know? And that's something... I, that's That's my point of this podcast. It's just to sit back and record conversations and like, oh, you remember that one time when we talked shit about this thing? No, let me pull up the podcast. Like, legitimately, this is what I want it for. Indeed. Hey, you remember when we were talking about D3, right? Oh, yeah. Shit, oh. don't... Yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. Um, so, did I tell you about the time that two years ago we tried to do a cover of E3, but somebody else beat us to it, and therefore we lost the licenses privileges? No? Too bad. <laughs> like... 
That's <laughs> almost what happened. And then our best friend that was part of that as well. Oh, you bitch. Um, sorry. Uh, also kind of kind of skipped out on us, and he didn't really uh, give us any contact afterwards. Which was I a know, he. Right? Yeah, dude. Like I, I cur- like he moved to California too. I really, I want to know how he is doing. You know, I think I still actually have him on Facebook, and I get him on PlayStation still. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I've, I've got to send him a message, see how he's doing. It's been a long time. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, and so getting back to the advertisements. If you guys enjoy the show and you, you enjoy us and the stories that we're bullshitting half the time, I mean, yeah, the true stories. Like mine was a legitimate story that I may have smudged the how big the guy actually was, but I mean. You don't know that. <laughs> like, he was built, though. He wasn't, like, um, I mean, I was going to date this podcast at the time. Like, if you're on Netflix, there's a show called Baki, where they're, like, pretty oh, much, yeah. yeah, he wasn't that jacked, <laughs> but he, he was, he was pretty big. He was clearly, like, he had a beer gut kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so... Like, anyways, these stories is what we do. This is what we try to have fun, and then uh, every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we end up streaming. Currently, I am in the background playing WoW, Retail WoW, to help do the raids, which is going to be the ra- uh, the um, stream content of Wednesday. Um, so, Justin, if you want to join me on Retail later. Um, retail WoW. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens today. I want to get that goddamn mount out of ICC, bro. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, getting back to the podcast. Uh, The podcast itself is on Anchor, and they are currently not a sponsor, but I can't advertise it, but I haven't recorded some of their advertisement stuff, so I digress. If you enjoy what you're listening to, hit us up on our social media, which is coincided with our names of Nezrak Sins and Virtual's Revenge DM. And Virtual's Revenge. Yeah. Yep. You gotta include the DM, because if you don't, people won't find you, bro. Indeed, indeed. It's, you know, make sure you put DM, please. Because if not, you're not going to find me anywhere. It's horrible. That's what she said, bro. No, I was kidding. Anyways, um... Well, so, I, I mean, I say social media, that's including Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, Instagram, like, they, it kind of covers it all, and if you look up Gaming Beyond, you can also find our Discord, which I I was telling um, my wife earlier that I need to create a pamphlet so I can just copy and paste it to some of the descriptions so I can get, like, the Discord server or Twitter or something, <laughs> or our hashtags, that's better yet. Uh, and because I've been typing out personally, and this shit takes time. But if you guys want to be yeah. a part of us and help fund us and get new equipment or uh, participate in, like, um, shit, one of those conventions or things like that, go ahead and hit up our Patreon. It's pretty new and only have one tier, which is starts out a dollar. So as little as a dollar, as little as an v- energy drink a day, <laughs> you can help fund <laughs> and uh, give us new equipment, which would... Trust me, he he needs it. And <laughs> uh, yes, guys, I really need it. So hit us up on that Patreon, or if you just want to do it separate for each person, you could go to our Twitch, and we do have a donation page on our Twitches as well. Yeah, yeah but okay, so see, as well. so just as out of context a little bit, um, I'm gonna avoid that because there is a point. Like, say for example, if I won the lotto, I would still have a donation bar on Twitch, but it would be for charities. So, uh, I kind of just, like, if you're going to donate on Twitch, leave it to the Twitch stuff. Like, uh, catch oh, me when course. I'm live and donate. Or even if you don't, my, my stuff tracks it. So, if you do do it, I will give you a shout-out at the beginning of the stream. Uh, but once a month, we <laughs> read off all the, uh, the um, Patreon names of anybody who's contributed within the past month. And if you want to get your name shouted out on the podcast, on the stream, I also do a YouTube video of this on it's which is stream archived, but it's there, so I have reference to a, of my video content. Again, hit us up on our hashtag. What the fuck just happened? See, this is the reason why I record this shit. Anyways, <laughs> it just glitched. It put me in a different section. Oh my! Transfer aborted. Instance not found is what it said. Um. Anyways, again, hit us up on social media. Give us a shout out. Um, I'm I don't really go for the whole Twitter thing. I'm trying to be a little bit more sociable. 
Right now it's just a I'm live spam. So look out for that if you want to see me go live. Uh, Virgil, do you have anything to plug or anything like that? Nah, just uh, if anything, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter. You can find me on TikTok. I'm actually about to start making videos on there. You know, oh, bro, the you, you know I'm going to be on there videos. saying uh, I'm going to be first. You know, I'm going to say go in your comments <laughs> and say first. Oh, I'm sure you will, man. You know, because with my retail job, not going to go there. There's I don't, plenty of things to talk about now. <laughs> yeah, I think, like, I got some other, like, uh, stories from that, too. Like, uh, was it the drunk guy trying to use his credit card for the free Osk? Oh, yeah. You were there that day, bro. <laughs> I know. Um, Unfortunately, I wasn't there to see him do it, but I was there to hear about it. I believe he told me Right at break like, like this right guy, you yeah, this guy watch. literally came up to me. Like, this is the free us. The, 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 the free us is not working. I'm like, what's wrong with the free us, bro? He goes, it's not dispensing my item. I'm like, you scan it with your phone. Oh, I was trying to put my card. Motherfucker pulls up Walmart <laughs> Pay or um, Apple Pay. There it goes. Uh, and it was like, oh yeah, it, it, what am I scanning? And he scans it and it goes through the website and it pulls up the free us thing. And he goes. Okay, where do I put my credit card? I'm like, bro. No. <laughs> no. What, free. What, Osk. Not pay Osk. Free Osk. What were we calling the stupid <laughs> ones again? Because, goddamn. Chads. Yeah, he was a fucking Chad for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my damn. But, yeah. But, so, I guess there's, the there's a little bonus play? story for you guys. Uh, if you, uh, oh, every, yeah. So, by the way, I'm going to do the Patreon-only um, podcast on Friday uh, because I found out some lovely information. So if you guys have a little tidbit for our next video, is we're going to be talking about the PS5. Um, the PS5 is releasing their, their how do you put it, like inventory or games that they're going to release with the PS5. Uh, they're doing their conference or whatever. Uh, starting Thursday. I'm not too sure when. I assume like 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so Friday we're going to have stuff to talk about on the podcast about what's going on and what do you think, it's, you know, the life of us too. Like, are you excited for that and all that fun shit. But, um, but yeah, that's a, if you guys want to be a part of that and listen to that Patreon exclusive, go hit up Patreon, donate a dollar and listen to it. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions or things you want to hear on our podcast, or on videos, streams, it doesn't matter. We play everything except League of Legends, <laughs> to, put, <laughs> to put lightly. Um, Indeed. And, like, I, I've been playing Valorant. Like, I, since it came out of the beta, it's actually been pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, so, let's go ahead and... Uh, Go back to your number two for your Karen stories. Yeah. Uh, last part of my plug, though. Twitch, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 to 10. Feel free to come watch. But going back to our Karen story. So we're trying to get a table together, me, m my family, and all that. Mm -hmm. We have, let's see, we had six at our table, and then we had my two parents at another table. We had eight people. We just wanted to use one more table where we'd have four in one table, four in another. I mean, it wasn't hard. But due to them trying to follow CDC rules, they wouldn't allow it. Now, because the waiter themselves were the ones telling us this, my sister, who was complete careless, was just giving attitude this entire time. I'm like, oh, God, she's going to have them spit in our food the way she's going right now. <laughs> and then my mom came up, and it's like, well, let me speak to your manager. See if we can get this to be changed around or something. I mean, and I was like, oh, okay. God. I, I would understand if nobody knew anybody. That would make sense. And if you were doing, like, a private party, even then it would be skeptical. But this is your yeah. family, I want to point out. People you see Indeed. every day... Who clearly doesn't have the coronavirus, and they're just like, "Yeah, we can't do that." It's just exactly. give everybody else, you know, eight feet, not six, eight to ten. Just, just get them out of here. 
Like, yeah. like I'm surprised they didn't give you that, like, the patio or something. You know how they used to do that? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do that, but... Uh, I mean, that was a thing that my mom and my sister both said practically almost at the same time. Like, they were in sync. You know, it was in sync Karens. I don't even know what we would call that. You know, two Karens who were just in sync with the Force. The Force. But they literally said it at the same time. You know, we are family. You know, we live together. You know, if we're gonna, if we're sick, then you know it's too late for everyone here, anyways. Yeah, and that's kind of how I feel about like wearing my uh, mask at work too. It's just kind of like, bro, we already here. We know everybody. It's just whatever. So exactly. It's, it's like as soon as the customers come in, it, it's one thing. But eh, it's kind of that's my mentality of that though. Well, of course, there's another exactly. It's an update to OBS. No, go fig. Yeah. Well, I was going to start but, doing, uh, like, launch the stream, so I'm not, uh, like, they'll get the the last end of our podcast, but I just wanted to start it so we can go right into it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so is that pretty much it? Like, what, what ended up happening? Like, I, that was basically it. Uh, what happened was me and my sister... And uh, their boyfriends ended up sitting at the table with my nephew at one table. And then my parents just sat there at another table. And uh, when it came to singing happy birthday, doing the, uh, the little, uh, yeah, the uh, little horse back thing. Oh, I, yeah, that's, I can't I think forget. of it right now. Yeah, the saddle. Yeah, but doing everything like that. We all basically got up and moved to that one table anyways. So it was kind of like a fuck you to them at the very end. It's like we crowded that one table and we didn't give them just a no, to say anything. Just know it's somebody's job to clean that damn thing. Yeah. Even before COVID, <laughs> I think it's somebody's job to clean it. Yep. Well, all I can say is uh, that was my second Karen story there. I have a Karen for a mom, a Karen for both my sisters, even though the littlest one didn't really say much. But that's, they, say, uh, I don't, that's I, number two. I was going to say, I don't really even see your little sister as a, a Karen. Like, then again, I haven't interacted with her since, like, God knows when. Yeah, I, I can tell you, she knows what Karen means. Well, yeah, she's yeah. like, but like, okay, in perspective, she's like Gen Z. She knows what a Karen is. Yes. It's great whenever I'm talking to my oldest sister's boyfriend and my little sister's fiance, and I'm whispering the word Karen, and they're dying, trying not to get caught by the two Karens. Oh, yeah? So I could tell you, it it was a great night because uh, just everyone couldn't stop laughing, and I was just the quietest one there, causing all sorts of problems for them. <laughs> but anyway, that's my number two. So what was your number three? Um, or your hmm. number two? Sorry, I'm trying to. Apparently, my webcam can't be the same. As, uh... Huh. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, my number two... Uh, what was my number two? Fuck. I was not prepared. Should've wrote it down. Because I, I was thinking about <laughs> it while we were, we were uh, fixing up the stuff, but I just... So sorry, sorry. I can plug some <laughs> shit. I don't know. I'm trying to um set up for the stream. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, as you know, guys, we stream every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh yeah, I guess if I, we're I, not, I, 
and for not streaming uh he's making videos or this and that so follow him on youtube follow him on twitch follow me on twitch follow me on youtube and uh yeah let's get back to the uh show yeah sorry about that so, like I said, uh, people joining us now, uh, which you're probably not going to even hear this unless you go back on the, on the VODs, um, I am currently live streaming and all that fun stuff on Twitch, so follow me in this direction slash uh, twitch.com, Twitch TV. I forget what it is. But, uh, anyways, I'm streaming, so the people who are coming into the stream now, you're getting the last little tidbit of our podcast that we're doing on Anchor. If you guys want more information, there is a link down below, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, getting back to the stories, Karens. I'm just going to tell you num my number three, because I don't remember my number two. So, okay. this re uh, retail job that we're currently at, I, uh, it like we said before, is a major retailer, and we we, <laughs> we cannot say anything bad unless we want to get fired, or uh, not really fired, put on the spot, it's more like it. Um... But, when I was working daytime, if that puts in perspective to you, um, I was I was a, a manager of sorts, so it kind of, the whole caring concept for as a manager was kind of like, oh, I'm waiting for this, I want somebody to come up to me and talk to me like that, basically. Like, get your manager, yeah. I am a manager, you dumbass, <laughs> kind of thing. And, um, <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. But, so this African-American male came up to me, and he was very, very nice. Like, I don't hate him at all or anything. He was just like, um, it was around Black Friday-ish. And he was like, oh man, look at all these people coming in, rushing, buying presents, and all this fun stuff. And they're trying to make sure they get st stuff for their kids, and they're just not prepared like the older generation is. And, you know, talking about himself, he is an older gentleman. He's probably about mid-50s, maybe 60s. I'm really bad with ages, to be honest. He might have been 80. I don't know. He, he he was walking around without a cane. Let's just put it that way. Um, <laughs> and that's to put it nicely. But he was a very nice man. And he's just like, hey, do you have this one thing in the back? And I was just like, no, sir, we don't have it. Uh, he's like, well, why didn't you go to the back and check? I'm like, well, because, sir, I work here and I know what we have. And he goes, um, he goes, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you see, I know what we have because this is my area. Very simply put, he's like, are you the, the manager of this area? I'm like, no, I'm the manager over a team that works this area. He goes, oh, okay, so you have to know, da -da -da. He's trying to get my perspective of what I do. I'm like, yeah, 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 you're good, you're good. He goes, okay, so he's like, but you see all these people... And the younger generation, clearly not knowing what to do. I'm like, what do you mean, sir? He goes, um, you see, and he points out a couple. He's like, them over there. You see how their cart's full of just useless stuff? They're not buying for Christmas. They're just here because they're here. I'm like, yes, sir, that's that's retail. That's what we do. <laughs> he goes, yeah, I get that. But you see how they don't have anything for themselves? And of course, I'm looking at the cart, which is like full of cleaning supplies. And, uh, yeah. I was just kind of like, uh, yeah, I guess I see what you're saying. I understand how it can be an issue. And he goes, yeah, this younger generation, these millennials, um, don't know what they're doing with their life. Like, they have so much ahead of them, they can't, they don't know what to do. I'm like, sir, not to be rude, but I'm a millennial. He goes, what? And looks at me, he goes, how old are you? You're at least 30, right? I'm like, even if I was, sir, I would still be a millennial. He goes, oh, uh, well, how old are you? I'm like, uh, at the time, I was like, well, three years ago, I was about, we'll just say 25 to be nice. Um, he goes, oh, man, you're so young. You you have so much ahead of you. You don't know what to expect with your life, do you? I'm like, I, I'm Unfortunately, sir, I'm in a position where I get paid wealthy enough money where I can sustain a family if needed. But that's not what I want. My passion project is this and that, and, you know, I want to get into it using this job to help me get there. He goes, what? You know what you're doing with your life? I'm like, yes, sir. He goes, oh, <laughs> well, I guess all millennials aren't failures after all. I'm like, sir, do you have any family or son or, like... 
a son or um, like a kid, basically. And he goes, "Yeah, I have two daughters." I'm like, "That that 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 that's your problem, bro." <laughs> the fact that you got two kids, two females, that is just like, I'm a male. I know what I'm doing. He's like, are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? I'm like, of course I do. I have a fiance. And he goes, oh, okay, so are you going to get married? I'm like, of course, but just not right now. He goes, why? I'm like, this stuff costs money. I currently have a bill that is weighs more than a ring. And he goes, you have such a level head on you, son. I think... I think uh, I'm going to tell my daughters about you. And like I said before, he's an African-American male. So, of course, like, stereotypically, he's black. He, he has some slang and stuff to him, but he's still proper, right? And he's yeah. just like, I'm going to tell my girls about you. I'm like, why, sir? He's like, oh, yeah, that's right. You have a fiance. I'm still going to tell them. Maybe they need to get the right people in their life. I'm like, sir, I'm more than well uh, welcome to get any more employees to help my team out. He goes, ah, that's what I'll do. I'm like, how did he not even see that? I said I am married. Uh, I'm like, okay, bro, I get it. Stop trying to hook me up with your daughter. I get it. And he's like, oh, here goes my daughter now. And then as she rolls up, uh, she, um, she goes, dad, are you ready to go home? And I go... Uh, I'm just going to use a name. I, it's not a real name. Hi, Melissa. And he snaps his head so fast to me. That I was like, you know my daughter? I'm like, yes, sir. I went to school with her. He goes, you're not 25, are you? I'm like, I am 25, sir. He goes, but she graduated like X amount of years ago. I, go, I know. I was a freshman when she was a senior. And she was one of my good friends. And we start chatting, the, me and the girls start chatting it up. And, you know, high school friends, basically. And he's just yeah. like, well, you need to get a man like him. He knows what he's doing with his life. And uh, she looks at me, and I'm like, I already told him I'm married. Because she's just like, you're still with that one girl, right? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, he looks at her down. I'm like, I already told him, don't worry about it. <laughs> and it's just like a moment where it's just like, again, I'm in a situation where the person in question doesn't know enough about us or an, an knows enough about the situation. Oh, what did I join in on? Welcome spooky. Good to see you. You joined in, uh, on our podcast. that we're currently streaming. I'm streaming because it kind of overran my, my stream time. Yep. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, please just kill everything. Oh yeah. That is the point. <laughs> I'm going to kill the big baddie, or the big boss right now. Um, I'm in Molten Core, by the way. Um, Feel big. Yeah. So, as is uh, this guy just, like, baffled. Just like, like I said before, I'm always in a situation where this person is just like, what? How do you have strings behind you kind of thing? Like, how do you know what I'm going to say before I say it? And it's just like, yeah, I do that. And I, I know my other Karen story. My second one was like, it was legitimate. Like we had to get the manager for something. Um, oh my. Yeah, it was, just, it wasn't like, it was again at this retailer and, um, our, our good friend that's no longer with us anymore. Uh, manager had to step in. And that's all I remember right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's why I, I end. Oh, I remember it now. I'll, t I'll I'll tell it. I'll tell it after yours. Okay, so just let me know when you're ready. And I'll start on number three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and start number three. Uh, let me. Spooky said something. I would love to join in on the podcast. I think it would be weird to join in, in the middle. Uh, tomorrow we are doing. What are we doing tomorrow? I I have a list for every day. Um, everything we do. So, uh, our po uh, another plug, guys. I'm sorry. Our podcast is Monday through Friday. This Friday being exclusive to Patreon. Unless you're part of it, like uh, Spooky wants to be. Uh, so, what I'm looking at is Thursday streaming ideas. Uh, yeah, leaving yeah, yeah, yeah. the corona behind. Yeah, so basically a recap of... Because like the my idea was that 
uh, Thursdays is when you see all the paperwork for unemployment and all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, hold on. Let me bring my list back up. Sorry, I spent all okay. my extra money on Apex coins. Nah, bro, you're good. <laughs> that's, a good that's a good sale. Uh, if you're on a uh, console, you should have bought the uh, Lifeline Bloodhound package. Because it's a shit ton... Uh -huh. It's a shit ton cheaper than uh, buying coins and trying to get certain skins a certain way. It's just easier to buy that pack. It's 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 like twenty bucks for both of them. Where if you were to buy the, both of them by themselves, it's like uh, sixty. So, Oop. yeah. Oop. Right away. Okay. So, um, going on to my third story. This isn't something that. Uh, has anything to do with me and it is kind of uh, with what's going on in the world right now. Uh, you were really current, didn't you? I was just like, I'm telling stories from my past and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to tell about what happened yesterday. <laughs> well, I, I saw this video on TikTok and, you know, I have to blame you because you got me into TikTok. So, uh, a woman calls police over a man carrying a Black Life Matter sign. Okay. So... Yeah, you know, I don't know where this is at, but there's a white guy who has a sign that says Black Lives Fucking Matt. And he's just sitting out there by himself, protesting by himself. Mm -hmm. One lady comes up, honks, and she says one person makes the difference. Right. Well, later on, a lady comes out and calls the police on him because he has a sign. And then her excuse was, well, I just don't want to be shot at whenever your uh, sign starts uh, making riots up here. Or riots come up. And there's two officers sitting there like, oh, God, it's one of these. And uh, in the very end, the uh, lady sits there and she's trying to get him in trouble with the police. And the officers just aren't having it. They're like, he has the right to be out here, and he has the right to have a sign that has anything on it. You know, he's not doing anything illegal. You right. Know, you have no ground to stand on, basically. And, uh, you know, the guy's sitting here saying, well, you know, Black Lives Matter. You know, they're like anyone with, you know, the black color skin or brown color skin, they're all in danger. Well, the officer has a rebuttal saying, well, everyone is in danger. And it's like, yeah, but you're not the one being shot at right now whenever uh, you're sitting here just walking across the street. Yeah. Which, I mean, technically now they kind of are. But that's because of, like, bad cops. But we're not getting into that anyways. Well, and that story kind of reminds me of the one where they're like... <laughs> um... Yeah, Black Lives Matter, yeah, da, 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 da. and then there was this TikTok, or the, it was in the news as well, where uh, this white lady, of course, uh, confronted a black man and a uh, Native American female. Yeah. I want to go full rant on Virgil's topic. Uh, next podcast is tomorrow, and we're just basically going to talk shit tomorrow, so we can do it tomorrow if you want. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, uh, our time. I forgot where you live. Um, but yeah, if you want to join, just be uh, in our Discord. Um, that's going to be a fun podcast. So there was this one where he, this lady confronts uh, this Native American girl, and she's, she's like... You shouldn't be here because she, you know, she had a sign. She was in a corner store. You know, Black Lives Matter yeah. because of her boyfriend, and um, you know, all lives matter. Da, 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 like, and she goes on to say, like, and you're you're being part of the problem by saying only Black Lives Matter, not all lives. And she, you know, snaps at her. And is like, you know, uh, all lives do matter, but Black Lives are the ones being scrutinized right now. Um, yeah. And she goes, yeah, but maybe you should just go back uh, to um, Mexico, and uh, we'll talk about your rights and the uh, the and the the Native American downright drops her jaw and said, "What? Excuse me?" She's like, "Maybe you should just go back to uh, like the white lady. Go back to Mexico. We don't need your kind here." And she quickly said, 
that's what uh, she didn't say anything. She just like stood back and just full open palm slaps the lady. And oh just, yeah, I think I've seen that video yeah, too. So the Isn't actually, it right after the white lady pushes her or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. She was that? Yeah. Go back to Mexico and pushes her, yeah. And then it's just fucking just slaps her and the white lady's like, Oh my god, you slap me and like walks away in shame, like she didn't just call her <laughs> out for that. Oh, she deserved that. She, she that really the did thing ever. Yeah, I a hundred percent agree. I was just like, You dumb mm. I mean, it, there's some stupid people, you know, and a bunch of fucking entitled Karens out there. And that was a fucking Karen who was a racist Karen at that. Oh, beyond belief, good sir. Beyond belief. Oh, yeah. But, uh... Um, okay. So, that that was just to help finish up yours, because it was kind of short. Um, my yeah, last indeed. one... Well, it, it's a really simple one, too. It's a simple story that, um, when I, our retailer, when I first started, I was thrown in the electronics department because, you know, tech, that's just my thing, right? Yeah. And that's what the manager at the time said. I'm like, of course. And she goes, this is a 24-hour store. You have to be careful. There are people who are here that who are, quote-unquote, stupid. And I laughed, and I chuckled. I'm like, what do you mean, stupid? And she said, well, there's people who come in here not knowing what they want, and trying to explain to you in a, in a very uh, unkindly manner is the word she used. I'm like, do you mean, like, explain to me something? Condensing? Basically. Um, it's like, and because you're new, they'll think you won't know it. And, like, I, I'm like, okay, I got you. I understand. I, I, you know, I've been through this before. It's not a problem. She's like, okay, good. And then she walks off. And, of course... Customers after customers, I'm doing great, I'm not having any issues, nothing. And then this lady comes up, and she goes, I need to speak to your manager. I'm like, uh, sure, why do you need to speak to her? She's like, I need to speak to your manager because she owes me a job. I'm like, okay, uh, what, no, that's fine, let me, you know, I call her on the uh, intercom, and she's like, uh, what's your manager's name? I'm like, lady, you're the one who came up to me asking for the manager. Why are you asking me for her name? Uh, not reading chat for weird. One's classic, though. Uh, later. Not today. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is because of Reset. Uh, toxic. Um, anyways. So she goes... What did she say? She goes, I need your manager. What's her name? And I need her up here now. She owes me a job. Of course, by this time, as she's repeating herself, um, she walks up. The, the manager walks up, and she's like, okay, what do you need, ma'am? She's like, you owe me a job. You said last week that you would... Uh, later, Toxic. Just keep that host up, good sir. Um, she's like, you said last week you would give me a job here this week. And she goes, that's not the process, lady. Did you put in an application? And she goes, I shouldn't have to put in an application if you said you're going to give me a job. And I'm just, I, I kind of just like scoffed accidentally. I was just kind of like, <clears throat> sorry. And the lady quickly turns to me and goes, do you have something to say about it? I go, man, we have computers on display here. Would you like to put in an application right now? She goes, I can't do that. Your, your Wi-Fi is locked. I'm like, no, it's not. She's like, you're just an associate. You don't know what uh, what's what. I'm like. Ma'am, I graduated high school with a technician's major. And she goes, I don't know what that is, but you don't know anything about technology. I go, excuse me, ma'am, do you need help with something? And she goes, I need a job. I'm like, put in an application. And the lady was like, uh, she's like, Kim, calm down. You don't need to do this now. I'm like, but she's being an idiot. And I said that out loud. And she goes, I'm not an idiot. I finished school. I'm like, do you have a high school diploma? That's one of the requirements to work here. And she goes, oh, then I'll go somewhere else. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? You legitimately didn't <sighs> finish school. <coughs> oh, God. That, that, oh, that crack hurt. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm like, you legitimately didn't finish school, and you're over here trying to ask for a job? 
because like the last class that you can get is economics and it teaches you how to get a goddamn job dude like come on <laughs> you dumb bitch oh, but yeah she uh, yeah she was fucking stupid bro my damn yeah and I, it's just as simple as that but that that was my last story wasn't nothing too special or anything but uh, you know the manager I'm talking about, right? Uh, the, let's see. Yeah, uh, the one that's no longer with us. Miss T, right? No, no. No. Uh, no, this has happened when I was first overnight. I'm sorry, it was Satan. No, it was a, it was the chick dude. Or was it L? It was G. G? Miss G. G, Miss G. Uh... She's no longer on this plane of ex existence, bro. I can't say that I know Miss G. She's dead. Oh. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. You know. It's I like the only thing I didn't have to say out loud, bro. Come on. <laughs> no, I know who you were talking about. I I couldn't catch her name, and I couldn't remember anyone with the name starting with a G. It's been a while, and that was a sad moment. I am sorry. <laughs> Rest in peace, bro. Come on. Um, For real. <laughs> I am sorry, Miss G. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, she was the one, she, and that's when she told me that I act a lot like you, I was just, and that's when she proceeded to tell me that you have an attitude with customers <laughs> as well. I was just like, that's, that's a, I don't want to compare myself to him, oh no, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and I, I turned around and I go, you do realize that he's the one who helped me get a job here, right? And she goes, yeah. And I'm like, you do know he's like my brother from another mother, he, he, is she dead, dead ass? Just like, legitimate. Like, he's your brother. I'm like, lady. Does it look? Does he look like me? Yeah, kinda. Motherfucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably that's the great. Yeah, that's probably the reason why that everybody assumed that we were brothers. And I was just like, that's some bullshit. Like, I told her, I'm like, no, we grew up together. This is just, that's what we do. Like. We went to the same middle school, and we stayed connected since then. And she goes, oh, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah, no, it doesn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this has been... I don't have a tracker, but on my stream, it's already been 22 minutes. This is going to be a long-ass podcast. I apologize. There it is. It's been over an hour. Um, fuck. Okay, again, for closing for the podcast, uh, sorry, stream. If you don't mind me, I'm going to do a close-up real quick. Um, again, guys, thank you for listening to our podcast. We are on Anchor right now, and I'm looking at other places to put it, so it does show up on Spotify and all that fun stuff. Um, I am Nezrak Sins with Gaming Beyond. Virgil's Revenge, you have anything to say? Hey, this is Virgil's Revenge DM. I want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, go to Gaming Beyond's Discord channel if you want to catch up with us, talk to us, you know, and you can find us on Twitter under our, uh, specific names you know nezrek sins virtual revenge gm you can also find me on youtube twitch yada yada so on so forth and like you know i'm gonna hate to sit there and say like oh my uh like i really wish i had like a website where i could just put like all our shit like i mean there is websites out there but i, I didn't claim a domain um but yeah. like all the links on anchor will take you to my stuff and from there like i have a special tab just for friends on my like twitch and you can find uh, Virgil from Facebook and stuff from there too, so n no fret. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Y'all can find me. You know, find me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, all that fun stuff. I stream Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, eight to ten. You know, come see me play Resident Evil. Uh, I believe I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, I will be a little bit busy here in the next hour or so. So. Yeah, I'll be streaming that tomorrow. Hopefully, we're looking and getting that done. But 
thank you guys for listening. Uh, and, uh... So, Spooky, sorry. Spooky, it's not over. It's The podcast is over. I'm going to continue to stream. So, you guys, if you're on my stream channel right now, I, I'm here. I'm just like, this is just a close for, for the podcast. Yeah, this is just closing the podcast, guys. This is basically me saying bye and him uh, streaming his life away. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Are you going to join, by the way? Because I'm about to... Oh, look at that. Is now hosting my stream with one viewer. Whoop, whoop. Anyways, uh, are you gonna join on uh, retail? Uh, I might get on for a little bit just so we can uh, go do ICC, see if we can get that mount real fast. All right, because uh, I'm doing this. See if we. I'm doing uh, the Twilight Drake right now to get another backpack. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna.